Welcome people. In this video, we want to look at the renin-angiotensin system. So basically, this system wants to increase the blood pressure. What it wants to increase? The blood pressure it wants to increase. Okay. So how exactly does the system work? Look at this. See, the, it all starts with the liver. The liver makes angiotensinogen. Okay, angiotensinogen. So it is a... Uh, a proform, correct? Then what happens? Renin converts it into angiotensin 1. So renin uh, is in the kidney. So kidney is going to convert it into angiotensin 1. So basically the brain, the brain uh, gives the stimulus for renin secretion. So when does it happen? If there is low blood, blood pressure or if there is low extracellular fluid volume or if there is a sympathetic stimulation and you need to run and you need high blood pressure, or if there is low sodium and you want, uh, uh, you know, all these kind of stimulus will uh, make angiotensinogen into angiotensin 1. So this renin secretion is controlled by the brain. If only there is need, then there is angiotensin 1. Okay, so angiotensinogen gets converted to angiotensin 1. Now this angiotensin 1, something called as here angiotensin 1 converting enzyme. What is this? ACE, angiotensin 1 converting enzyme. This will convert angiotensin 1 into angiotensin 2. Now angiotensin 2 which this is able to work on the heart. Okay, the heart has angiotensin 2 receptors. So once this angiotensin 2 acts, or what it will do? Basically this angiotensin 2 receptors are in many places like in the heart, the blood vessels, the kidney, the adrenal gland, okay, even the brain. So even the lungs. So what happens? This angiotensin 2 will tell the blood vessels to constrict. Are you awake? So it will tell the blood vessels to constrict and then the blood pressure becomes more. So just look at this. Finally the effect is the blood pressure becomes more. How? Because of vasoconstriction. Vasoconstriction the vessels will constrict and the blood pressure will increase. The heart, the contraction of the heart increases. Adrenal gland, uh, it releases aldosterone. The kidney, uh, because of this aldosterone, what happens? There is increased reabsorption of sodium. Sodium more means water retention more. So there will be increased blood pressure. And uh, in the into the brain, there is signal sent to increase the sympathetic outflow. So there is sympathetic outflow. So hence, overall, what this angiotensin 2 will do, it will increase blood pressure. Okay. So now, there are a lot of drugs which have been... Uh, found to work on this renin angiotensin system so as to reduce the blood pressure. Okay, so what could those drugs be? Very easy, don't worry. So they could be something like, first of all where it all started with the brain, correct? The brain was making this renin more. So sympathetic blocker you can use like a beta blocker. Example of beta blocker, propranolol, metaprolol, Atinolol, all those lols you remember from our previous video. So beta blockers you can use, right? Then you can use direct renin inhibitors. So renin itself will not get released, correct? That is also a possibility. Now you can also have some angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors. So they will inhibit this ACE enzyme. So that angiotensin 1 does not become angiotensin 2. Then you have angiotensin receptor blockers. So these AR, wherever you have these angiotensin receptors, all these receptors will get blocked. Okay. So it will not allow the blood pressure to increase. Another group, they have aldosterone antagonists. So this angiotensin 2, what it does, it also increases. You remember, just go back to the previous slide. It was increasing aldosterone release. So if you block aldosterone itself, so aldosterone antagonist, if you give to the body, then definitely you can reduce the blood pressure. So our whole point now is to reduce the blood pressure by blocking everything. Block sympathetic blocker, renin inhibitor, angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor, angiotensin receptor blocker, aldosterone antagonist. So everything is negative only here, right? Inhibitor, blocker, antagonist, etc. Let us look at good examples also now. Beta blocker, obviously you know <coughs> bisop Prolol. Let's take bisoprolol. That's a better example because it is cardio selective, correct? Bisoprolol. Direct renin inhibitor. So, renin inhibitor you have aliskyrin. Aliskyrin. Aliskyrin is what? 
renin inhibitor Thank you so much for saying that Alice Chiron is direct renin inhibitor. Then coming to angiotensin converting enzyme, just uh, zoom a little on this. So angiotensin converting enzyme AC inhibitors, example that is actually used, you know, the drug that is actually used is Elnapril, okay, Elnapril, please remember Elnapril, okay. Elnapril is used as Elnapril malleate. So Elnapril is the drug that you should know. So it is a angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor. Elnapril malleate. The other examples are Captopril etc. Captopril if you want you can remember. There are a lot of other examples if you want you can remember. Ramipril. Ramipril also should be easy to remember right. Then let's move on to this angiotensin receptor blockers ARBs. So what these do if you remember our diagram. So there are angiotensin receptors where and all in the heart, the blood vessels, the adrenal gland, the kidney, the brain everywhere. So basically if these receptors are blocked then there is no increase in blood pressure. Who is going to go and block all these receptors? So you have losartan, losartan says I will do it, I will block it for you, don't worry. All the sartans like, tell me sartan, what are sartans? Sartans is not some uh, Greek mythology character. Sartans are ARB, that is angiotensin receptor blockers. Sartan, sartan example is losartan. Sartan, sartan is angiotensin receptor blockers, ARB. Thank you so much losartan, tell me sartan. Examples for angiotensin receptor blockers, okay. Then lastly we had something, aldosterone antagonist. Let's come to that now. Zoom on that please. Aldosterone antagonist. Now aldosterone antagonist, these are going to be opposite action of aldosterone. What does aldosterone do? Aldosterone increases sodium absorption, uh, reabsorption, it increases sodium reabsorption into our body and helps it, allow, it increases the blood pressure, aldosterone. So if you are giving an aldosterone antagonist, it will block the mineralocorticoid receptors and uh, it will lower the blood pressure. Examples, spironolactone, spironolactone you should know guys, spironolactone you should know. So now coming to the drugs, exactly what and all you should know. Sympathetic blockers, uh, you can know bisoprolol, it is a cardio selective beta 1 blocker. So the heart rate will reduce, right? Heart rate will reduce. Then coming to direct renin inhibitors, you have aliskyrin. Remember ali, ali, aliskyrin, okay? I think ren is here, aliskyrin, right? Ren, renin inhibitor, aliskyrin. Then we are moving on to angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor. So first was the sympathetic, then the renin. Now we are going to block this AC uh, enzyme. That is the angiotensin converting enzyme. So the example is uh, enalapril. Enalapril. In enalapril. Enalapril. Okay, the exact spelling you should know. Enalapril. Okay. Then you have captopril and ramipril. Also, if you want, you can remember. So enalapril, captopril, ramipril. Okay, we are done with that. Then next what we want to block, we want to block the angiotensin receptors. So we can do that with losartan or telmisartan. Okay. Now there is just one last group here, aldosterone antagonist. So example there is spironolactone. It is going to uh, competitively inhibit aldosterone receptors on the distal convoluted tubule. So you can just note that where exactly this will be in the DCT. Okay, competitively block competitively block the mineralocorticoid receptors in the distal convoluted tubule okay, of the kidney. So you have example are spironolactone and eplirinone, eplirinone, spironolactone. Okay. Can you name all the drugs that you learned so far? Bisoprolol, then uh, aliskyrin, then uh, 
इसी इनहिबिटर्स लाइक इनलाप्रिल कैप्टोप्रिल रैमीप्रिल देन वी हैव द एआरबीज दैट इज द एंजियोटेंसिन रिसेप्टर ब्लॉकर्स लाइक लोसार्टान टेलमीसार्टान वेरी गुड एंड द लास्ट वी हैड एल्डोस्ट्रॉन एंटागोनिस्ट स्पाइरोलैक्टॉन वेरी गुड सी दिस यू हैव टू नो बिकॉज this much you have to know okay these names of the drugs you have to know so this was the rendin angiotensin system and the drugs so we have covered uh, all this now what we have to look at is let us close this video with a recap so rendin angiotensin system tries to increase the blood pressure <clears throat> but we don't want our blood pressure to go very very high in case a person has high blood pressure then we want to reduce it by controlling this rendin angiotensin system So first of all, you should understand the renin-angiotensin system. So in renin-angiotensin system, what happens? The liver actually makes angiotensinogen. Okay, uh, but there is no drug which they mention which can block this itself. Anyways, so the uh, liver makes angiotensinogen, which gets converted into angiotensin one because of renin. Renin release is controlled by the brain. now and the blood pressure if the blood pressure is low renin gets released right and if there is a sympathetic overdrive then renin gets released so many reasons for renin to get released then renin will convert angiotensinogen into angiotensin angiotensin 1 angiotensin 1 with the help of an enzyme coming from the lung called as ac uh, that is angiotensin converting enzyme it is get it gets converted into angiotensin 2 this angiotensin 2 can become 3 4 etc however remember this all these angiotensins when they are having receptors like in the heart in the blood vessels in the uh, adrenal um, uh, gland in the kidney in the brain what happens uh, they it helps in increasing blood pressure how let us say on the blood vessels on the blood vessels there is vasoconstriction heart there is contraction there is increase in contraction of the heart so the blood pressure increases adrenal gland uh, you can see that there is aldosterone release this aldosterone makes sure that the kidney reabsorbs more sodium more sodium means more water is retained by the body hence there will be increased blood pressure then even on the brain it works and increases the sympathetic outflow so this angiotensin 2 is making sure that the blood pressure of the body becomes more now we are finding drugs which can block everything and anything possible but not the uh, liver and angiotensinogen that they did not mention so let us see what and all drugs they found sympathetic blockers like bisoprolol are you able to see sympathetic blockers like bisoprolol renin inhibitors like aliskiren then angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor like Enalapril, captopril, ramipril. Okay, so many drugs there. Then you have the angiotensin receptor blockers like losartan, and lastly you have the aldosterone antagonist spironolactone. Very nice. So meet you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this video. Say bye. Bye bye.